Good morning. Um, it is actually afternoon for us, but hi, good morning. I'm Gavin and this is Biba. What's your occupation, Gavin? Biba is my occupation, cooking and stuff for her because she's isolating a bit, although... Hmm... I should be wearing my Darth Vader mask. Um, but other than looking after Biber, I'll be doing techie stuff and likely to be digging the bank at the front. I don't mean Lloyd's bank, I mean um, the front bank terracing, so lots of digging. Can you tell people where you're digging? To um, try and get the dream of my 30s figure back, you know. So. <sighs> But mostly so I can put the cherry tree in and plant lots of lovely flowers and fruit and veg at the front. Make it usable. Fantastic. Okay. My occupation is, um, so I work with Friends International as a staff worker and we organise events for international students uh, to help them practice their English, um, meet local people and also introduce them to good news of Jesus if they want to know more about that. Um, and what will you be doing this time tomorrow? Looking after Biber, cooking, cleaning and um, more digging most likely with my feeble arms that are now getting less feeble as I keep digging I become more and more like Arnie or Schwarzenegger, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Rocky in their prime. It's like, you know, you know, film commandos like that, you know, three weeks, you know, looking forward to that. Me too. <laughs> um, yes, so um, what I'll be doing on Monday, um, I'll be probably doing some admin and also planning some online events for um, arriving international students who will be quarantining for a few weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, we have an opportunity to do some online events for them. So looking forward to meeting new students uh, soon. Um, and yeah, what um, does God, how does God use you there? To love my wife. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I mean we uh, have a privilege at Friends International to, to meet many students and um, love them and be Jesus' hands and his feet uh, to them while they're here, where they're, they're quite lonely sometimes. Um, uh, and in my job, I have a privilege of making friends professionally <laughs> and um, introducing students to uh, good news of Jesus. Because a lot of, a lot of students may have never heard of the name Jesus um, before or who he really was um, uh, and is. Um, yes, yeah, so um, yeah, you can pray for me for that. And what encouragement can you offer uh, to the church? Um... You don't have to get a haircut if you don't want to. Look at it. <laughs> my encouragement is I may be not as young as I used to, but I've still got my hair. It's nice. Uh, but the actual encouragement is <laughs> um, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path, or as I prefer from the AV, makes your path straight. So with all this that's going on, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, you can trust him. You can. Mm. Um, my encouragement would be from Ephesians uh, chapter 4, verses uh, 1 to uh, 5, and it says um, that we should um, live lives worthy of our calling and um, as brothers and sisters, we should make every effort um, to um, live in unity and uh, to love one another. And um, recently, um, I've been encouraged um, also to ask the question, where can we embrace um, uncertainty and um, how can we embrace uncomfortable things um, that come our way, discomfort? Um, and... Um, yeah, see what God will do through that and how he'll teach us and, and guide us and use us uh, through those uncomfortable things and stepping out of our comfort zones. Um, yes. So I hope you have a good week.
Thank you. Bye. Bye.